My name is Kevin Spears. I'm director of the Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Institute here at Florida State University. We've developed a fire dynamics program which involves the study of the physics, meteorology, and the combustion dynamics, atmospheric dynamics of wildland fires. This involves a, a collaboration between a number of different departments here at Florida State University, including engineering, physics, scientific computing, earth, ocean, and atmospheric science. Of course, fire is, is a very uh... Uh, has a lot of, it has a lot of different physics. It's a very multi-physics problem. And so people that are something like chemistry would be interested in it because of all the different gases that are going on in this fire. Or someone in meteorology because of course the weather has a big impact on how fires start, how fires go out, how fires spread, so on and so forth. And then uh, someone like an environmentalist might be interested because of course they want to know things about air quality. We're part of a regional prescribed fire consortium that combines research and field experience with local knowledge help our students gain practical experience with wildland fires. Our students are fully involved with the research and the field work. They get the opportunity to go to workshops, to go to conferences, to present their papers and to publish along the way. Being in the southeast, we're surrounded by prescribed fire. This gives us the opportunity to work with partners such as Tall Timbers, other state and federal agencies, to give students a unique experience with the science of wildland fires. Wildland fires can be dangerous, they can be deadly, they can be under control, they can be prescribed, and they can be predicted. And we are trying to learn how to put together the knowledge and skills to develop tools for this predictability and control. One of the big goals is to be able to save, uh, save resources, save money, um, save the environment, and of course save 